do a punt drills. And um, as you can see on the punts, I just got a couple, uh, half of my hand on it, but I, pretty hard on myself. Wish I could have got it fully. If you watch the tape, I had, uh, I could get better at it and I could get, uh, get it fully. Was it just one that you got, or did you get both of them? Because you came close a second time, The first right? one I got my hand on a little bit more. Yeah. The second one I think it was about fingertips. Gotcha. Is that something that going into the game you saw on film that you're going to have a chance? Yeah, well, we watched it, uh, Coach Parkers and I and uh, others. Uh, we knew one was going to be open. We didn't know who it was going to be. It was uh, coming down to Grant Perry, me, and um, Brandon Watson. We knew one of us would be free. We didn't know which one, so just went uh, as a game plan. I was the open one. How much more comfortable are you feeling with safety this year? I'm way more comfortable, especially under uh, Coach Brown's defense. It's much easier for me to uh, play faster, so uh, I'm pretty full of comfortable out there today. What's the difference between last year's defense and this one? Um, I think I think it was a lot of more man to man, mm -hmm. uh, not as much thinking. Uh, we get we attack people, so I, I, I like that playing man to man on the outside and uh, has some free high safeties over top too. What's it do for a team when you get that kind of special teams performance? I mean, you also have the field goals. Yeah, Chris Rung, I think, got two two field goal blocks. So it, it was a great feeling for us. Uh, I think going last year, we only got one hand on the ball the whole year last year. Uh, Coach Partridge and Coach Jay Priester to us this week he said one of us is going to be open, and uh, we just went with it. We got four, I think. Four they, hands on the they saw that he's low, you know. The, well, at least on the field goals, he was kicking low. Yeah, he was kicking low, and I think we got uh, great uh, penetration up front. What have you seen from Colorado on film? Uh, just watched them a little bit today. Uh, they're a pretty good team, uh, up-tempo team, like uh, UCF, so uh, we're going to uh, be challenged this week. Did you guys change the scheme in terms of the blocks this year? I mean, did, did Partridge do something different than Baxter did? Uh, not really. I think it just comes down to effort. Is there, is there, it seems like it's just a subtle thing, like you got your fingertips on one, if you had been a millisecond sooner you could have gotten more, if, or l later you could have you missed it entirely. Yeah, I feel like on both of them I could have got the full block. Um, if you watch the film, um, I got to get better at, uh, you know, certain things, so it just, it just uh, that's how it came out, and uh, we'll be attacking again this week. How much of it's a concern that you don't want to rough the guy and maybe back away a little bit? Uh, it was a very concern. Yeah. Um, Last year, the Ohio State game, I ended up roughing the punter, so uh, that was in my head a little bit, and I was a little cautious going for the punt. But um, coach just told me, "Don't go after it; just go get it." And, uh, if, if you're taught the right way, you'll go get it. Was it more a weakness you identified in, in their blocking scheme, or yeah. what, what do you want to say what that was? Or? Uh, we, uh, the coaches gave us the game plan. We seen the weakness in their punt formation, and uh, he didn't say who was going to be free, but we knew one of us was going to be free the way it was coming. How did you know one of you guys was going to be free? Just by the game plan they told us, uh, we were bringing, bringing quite a few up the middle, and I knew they um, had overloaded the size. So it's interesting that you know Baxter had such a reputation for kind of for creating blocks and, and all these things uh, when he got here. With with Partridge, have have you are, are those schematically or is it big differences or, or what is kind um, of the, the term? Coach Baxter was a great guy. He had great schemes for us, but I think it just comes down to more effort. I think we're giving more effort on the special teams this year. Not saying we didn't last year. It's just um, the schemes aren't really much different. Mm -hmm. we're just, I think we're just giving more effort. What do you credit that to? Where's that effort coming from? I think that effort comes from Coach Partridge and Coach Jay just being on us during, uh, during the week of practice. How would you describe them at practice? What is it that you guys are feeding off of? Well, they take it very serious. They're on us every day. Uh, they're attacking us, uh, telling us how important special teams is, and a lot of the guys are taking it in this year. So, with this coaching staff, when someone has success on special teams, I mean, do they treat that as something that is indicative of how you're going to play when you go to safety, or do they treat? It uh, as I mean, I don't. I don't think it goes ignored. Um, uh, end up getting special team player of the week, so I, I, they like it. So, I, I mean, it's a coaching thing. How that goes? When you committed, you probably didn't think, you know, that staff didn't play a lot of freshmen, right? You had committed to the Hulk staff, right? Yeah, I committed under Hulk. Right, and but this, when you got here, obviously this staff was playing a lot of freshmen. Was that yeah. kind of a, did it change your mindset a little bit? Are you talking about last year yeah, when I yeah, got here? Yeah. Uh, well, I knew uh, they were gonna give me opportunity, and uh, that's all you could ask for is just the opportunity and go work for it. Um, and they're, as you can see this year, they're giving a lot of other guys opportunities, so. Um, it's what you do with the opportunity. What was the point you knew that you'd have a shot? Was that in camp sometime? Are you talking about this year or last year? Last year. Um, last year, uh, I don't think I played the three, first three or four games. and uh, I was just working hard in practice. Um, just practicing hard, giving good effort on special teams, scout teams. and uh, The coaches uh, saw it, and they gave me a chance. And My role expanded a little bit from there from kickoff to the full special teams last year. Behind Gabriel or behind Jared? 
uh, last year. Yeah. I was not in the too deep last year in safety. I was just okay. uh, just playing special teams last year. When you uh, when you talked about last week that you might have a chance to block a kick, is that a one time thing, or are you talking about a lot of the same stuff this week after you had success? Well, we just we go off of the opponent's punt return yeah. punt team, so uh, they'll give us the game plan on how we'll go after it and who's going after it and what we're going to be doing, and uh, so and we also have a great guy back there, as you know, Jabril. So we're always trying to give returns for him too.